Welcome to another video. For today's video, we are going to talk about the difference between discrete random variable and continuous random variable. So when we say discrete random variable, it can only have a specific values. Whereas continuous random variable, it can be any value in an interval. For example, if we are going to have an interval 1 to 10, so let us write this one as x greater than or equal to 1, but less than or equal to 10. In a discrete random variable, the value of x, it can be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, etc. It can only have a specific value between 1 to 10. While in continuous random variable, the value of x can be 1, it can be 1.2, it can be 1.45, it can be 2.71, it can be 5.49, or it can be 6.1789. So it can be any value in an interval of 1 to 10. In discrete random variable, those are data that can be countable. For example, if we are going to roll a die, you can only have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 as an outcome. You are not going to have a decimal number in a discrete random variable. While in continuous random variable, those are the data that can be measured. For example, height. The height of a person, it can be 1.92 meters, 1.87 meters, or 1.07 meters. So that is the difference between discrete random variable and continuous random variable. So let's start and let's have an example. In this set of example, we are going to classify the following random variables as discrete or continuous random variable. For example, on number one, the speed of a car. So the speed of a car, it can be 60.5 kilometers per hour. It can be 45.7 kilometers per hour, or it can be 101.75 kilometers per hour. So this data, it can be measured. Therefore, the speed of a car is an example of continuous random variable. On number two, the number of cuts in a neighborhood. So whenever we talk about the number of cuts, we are talking about discrete random variable because the number of cuts can be counted. That's why number two is an example of discrete random variable. On number three, your body weight. For example, your body weight is 87.5 kilograms or 60.12 kilograms. So this information, it can be measured. Number three is an example of continuous random variable. On number four, the number of doctors in a town. How many doctors in a town do you have? 2, 10, 15, etc. So this information, the number of doctors, it can be counted. So therefore, number 4 is an example of discrete random variable. What about number 5? The number of books on a shelf. How many books do we have in a shelf? Do we have 100, 200, or 300? So this one is an example of discrete random variable. On example number six, the height of a student. So what is the height of a student? Let's say 107 centimeters or let's say 156.75 centimeters. Or let's say we have 175 0.63 centimeters. 
So this information, it can be measured. Therefore, number six, the height of a student is an example of continuous random variable. What about number seven? The number of students in a classroom. How many students do we have in a classroom? So we are talking about the numbers, so it can be counted. Therefore, number seven is an example of discrete random variable. On number eight, your age rounded to the nearest whole number. Let's say, for example, my age, let's say 20.1. If you're going to round this one into the nearest whole number, it can be 20. It can be, let's say, another example, let's say 30, 40, 25, 31. So therefore, number eight is an example of discrete random variable. But on number nine, when you are talking about your exact age, let's say your exact age is 18.7 years or 21.3 years or 25.7 years. So this one is an example of continuous random variable. On our last example, the number of female athletes. So how many female athletes do we have? Let's say we have 20, 30. You are not going to have 21.5 because there is no female athlete which is 21.5. Therefore, number 10 is an example of discrete random variable. So I hope you will learn from this lesson. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.